Support WrestleTalk! Give us a subscribe. For the drive to 500,000 subscribers. We're, we're still working on the slogan. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis, and here on Wrestle Talk, we ask the biggest and most serious questions in wrestling, like who threw the pie at Kevin Owens? What wrestling show is Booker T actually watching? And who really is Byron Saxton? But over the last week, an old question has resurfaced to the top. What's going on with the Universal Title Automatic Rematch Clause? So far in the belt's 15-month history, none of its three former champions, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens and Goldberg, have been granted their rematches against the current holder, Brock Lesnar. Which is fine by me, as the Automatic Rematch Clause is often a crux for lazy booking and drawn-out feuds. But it seems that Balor never lost the title, having to vacate the belt due to injury after becoming its inaugural champion last summer, he is owed a chance to win it back. According to the Wrestling Observer newsletter, that was always the plan. To build Lesnar up for Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34, he was to face and defeat Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, Seth Rollins and Balor. But something changed in recent weeks which soured WWE higher ups on Finn, allegedly scrapping his planned title match at Royal Rumble 2018 as Dave Meltzer revealed on Wrestling Observer Radio. Vince McMahon felt Finn Balor wasn't over enough. Sports Illustrated then went even further, claiming Balor was never even in the mix for the Royal Rumble match, and McMahon had given up on him long ago, reportedly seeing Finn as a newer version of Dolph Ziggler, as a performer with a great series of matches, but no reward atop the card or faith from the office. Rather unusually for a WWE wrestler, Balor then seemingly addressed these dirt sheet reports on social media, posting an image of how his entrance is over, with the crowd waving their arms in the air like they really do care, with a shrugging in confusion emoji, an image of him in a match against Roman Reigns with the caption Balor Club Forever, with the letters O, V, E and R capitalised, spelling over, and then even on thanks Thanksgiving, where he tweeted, I am not over cooking the turkey. Then WWE put up an online poll getting fans to do the booking for them, asking, Which Raw superstar would you like to see challenge Brock Lesnar for the Universal title next? With a list that included Braun Strowman, Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Triple H, our boy Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, or other. Balor then tweeted the current standings, showing the Demon King way in front with 41% of the votes, which he accompanied with a smirking face emoji. The figure has since increased to 62%, meaning Finn is statistically over. And Balor's passive-aggressive posts about WWE booking weren't done there. He then went for full-on aggressive ones against Roman Reigns. Fresh off his title win last week, Reigns will be starting his Intercontinental Championship Open Challenge on tonight's Raw, which he teased in the tweet Wherever I am, consider it my yard. So if you want my title, all you have to do is step up. To which Balor continued his I'm over campaign. Roman Reigns, dog emoji. I won't just step up, I'll step over. Balor's Survivor Series teammate Kurt Angle has confirmed rumours that he worked injured in last Sunday's 5-on-5 five five elimination match main event. Speaking on a Facebook Q&A, he revealed, Leg is okay. I tore a muscle in it doing wind sprints two days before the pay-per-view. It's okay though, I feel good and should be 100% in a week. But in true I won Olympic gold with a broken frickin' neck style, Kurt's already excited about his brewing feud with Triple H on Raw. It's felt like 2000 all over again. I'm looking forward to what's ahead. Let's be positive with everything awesome about last week's NXT call-ups to the main roster. And what is the exact moment that Attitude Era started? Click the videos to the left of find out more, press subscribe and support Wrestle Talk. Order issue one of the Wrestle Talk magazine now. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.